What is going on there guys, it's Mo7 here and welcome back to another episode of Painkiller. We are currently on level 5 called Enclave. Now this is the last level in this chapter so I am expecting something great. So kill the necro giant in less than 2 minutes. Necro giant. <laughs> so yeah there's um, obviously something big in here. Let's get into it. Whoa! Did you see that? <laughs> the loading thing went by in like a second. <laughs> and then it stopped right at the very end. Here we are. Oh lordy, he's big. Okay. And we gotta kill him in under two minutes to get the card. Alright, how are we gonna do that? I need ammo first. It's only giving me 40 shots. That's not enough. Oh my god, you're huge. Man, this ain't gonna cut it. Your health's not going down very fast. Ow! He has minions too. Oh, that hurts. How am I supposed to defend a bunch of minions? Oh, don't step on me. I can't even see where I'm walking because of this. Alright, we're going to use our cards, so that way we can slow down time, because we're already over a minute. Just shoot him here, it seems to be working just fine. Oh, he did something, I don't know what he did. Got him. Uh, he started to do something. I was flinging myself sideways. I don't even know what happened there, but I got him. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> bye bye. And a minute and 41. We got it. Okay. That actually wasn't too bad. Blessing. Increase the initial health to 150. Nice. And that looks like a silver card. Okay. Oh, cutscene. Please don't do it be another game crash. Please make it through this actual cutscene. That was so embarrassing the first uh when I first started this game. Ever wonder why there are graves in a place like this? Hello. Easy now. My name is Eve. Good for you. What do you want? I was told you're trying to hunt down Lucifer's generals and destroy his armies. Uh, hi. Put that weapon down. I'm here to help. Help? Really? I know a lot about these armies. I know their locations, and I know about the generals who lead them. If you're planning on destroying them all, you're gonna need my help. And I should trust you because... We don't have time for games, Daniel. You can feel I'm human. And I'm telling you, your map is no longer than correct. That. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. See, this horde has moved from here to somewhere up here. They're preparing for attack and are systematically moving into position. We don't have much time. <sighs> How do you know all this? I've been here for much longer than you can even imagine. I know this place. I was among the first to notice the armies moving in, but obviously I couldn't stop them on my own. And that's where you come in. Rumors travel fast. They say you're quite the soldier. Yeah, I can take care of myself. Good. But before we go, you've got to know something. 
For starters, you're dead. You've been dead for nearly 30 years now. Not that time matters here. Oh, so that's how long he's been here. You're not in heaven, but you're not in hell either. You're here because of something in your past, and you're awaiting purification before you're allowed through the gates. The gates are real? I understand where I am. That became clear the first time I had to defend myself against a demon. What I don't understand is why I'm here. I lived a good life. I... I just don't deserve this. Well, I figured you understood where you are. Some mortals seem to have trouble grasping the notion that they're no longer alive. As for why you're here, I can't answer that. The secret must be in your past. I asked you a question. Have you ever wondered why there are graves in a place like this? Actually, no. Most mortals don't. You seem almost to expect them. We're in a world where mortal souls await purification. You can't die here. You're already dead. The body you're in right now is just holding your soul. However, while you wait, your soul can be taken by a demon and sent to hell. If you fall to a demon, you will go to hell. Likewise, once your time has come, an angel can release your soul and allow you entrance to heaven. I've seen many fall to a demon. The flames are a pretty good indication of where they're going. As the midway point between heaven and hell, Lucifer realized the strategic importance of this world quite some time ago, and has since created a means for his troops to enter undetected. We're not sure how he's doing it, but we know it's a slow process. It takes a considerable amount of time for... Okay. So... Good thing I have editing, you know, because, um, you know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not even going to say anything. You guys already know what I'm thinking. Um, anyway, so, I mean, I, I guess all that matters is that she's on our side, right? Good enough. Alrighty, so that was the end of chapter one. I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and this is Moto7 here, signing off.